What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Pokemon on the channel. Today we're talking about Pokemon on the Switch. And I mean, I gotta say, okay, I'm gonna give you my first impressions because I did watch the trailer one time through. I am pretty hyped. I'm not hyped for the reasons I thought I'd be hyped. You know what I mean? But I am, overall, it does look pretty solid. Everybody's kind of giving it shit that it's like, oh, it looks like an upgraded version of the 3DS game. So on and so forth. If you guys want to watch the original trailer, it is linked in the description. We're just gonna go through screenshots today. That's pretty much what I like to do with it, just because I... I'm not trying to get copyright. I want to cover the game as much as you guys want me to cover the game, or some of you guys are random people watching my channel. But I'm not trying to get a copyright on the <laughs> copyright strike, all right, man. And Pokemon is notorious. So basically, we're taking a look. First of all, it starts out with Pikachu. He goes running into a house, and then we got this little pissed off Pikachu right here, right? <laughs> he gets all happy, and then boom, he jumps in the TV, and we pop up into this world. First initial thoughts. Graphics look good, in my opinion. I like it. I think it's a cool, like, different design, art style. Like, I dig it a lot, actually. Um, it does look different, for sure. But, I don't know, I dig it. You know, that's a traditional male character. He does look somewhat like Red, somewhat not, which I'm okay with. We don't need to have a Red replica. There's no point in that, honestly. Uh, we pop on over, we show Eevee, because it is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. They are counterparts of each other. We will obviously be going further and further as we go in the video. And, okay, so here's one of the biggest ones, is that it's got Pokemon Go mechanics. And I'm very torn so far, because I don't dislike it, right? I was pretty hyped for Pokemon Go when it first came out. I don't dislike it. It's very different. It's not what you want it to be, necessarily, because it's just it's based around how well can you throw it. And I'm okay with that, and I'm also kind of like, don't do this. You know what I mean? I'm very, very torn. We're going to have to see how the actual game plays. And we'll have to go from there. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Because I know a lot of people are kind of hit or miss on Pokemon Go. I liked it a lot. I'm getting back into it a little bit. Like, I actually, like, been going out at night and stuff and catching Pokemon. And it's fun. But it's not the same as, like, Pokemon Ruby Sapphire Emerald or Diamond Pearl or even Black and White. It's just not the same. You know what I mean? Uh, and then it does show you can play with two characters, which is pretty cool. Two people can play. I don't really know how that works. I don't know if you just do double battles everywhere you go. Obviously, you can run in separate directions, which is really cool. Again, the original trailer is linked in the description. I don't know if I said that originally, but... Uh, it shows that you can catch Pokemon together. So the two girls throw a Pokeball at the same time, and they get an excellent score. So basically, you're going to get boosted odds, I guess, if you have two people playing. I don't know. That sounds like Pokemon. All right, now we're getting into the meat and bones. So we're getting into the actual battle. And I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm personally fine with this. It does look a little childish, but you guys got to remember, the age the age demographic is not 25-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds. It's like 5 to 12. Maybe like 8 to 12. You know what I mean? That's the age demographic that they shoot for. And most of the time, they hit it out of the fucking park. So I can't really fault them for not changing it up too much. It does have Pokemon, Grow, uh, Pokemon Go aesthetics, which I'm okay with. I don't, I don't dislike it. You know, it looks like Pokemon Go. That's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, the character models do look really good, in my opinion. I actually kind of like I like the art style, like I said. It's just very childish. It's not bad or anything like that. Uh, this seems to be the next Pokemon Go crossover-ish thing, I guess. Best way to word it. So you get this little Pokeball thing, right? And you can do different things with it. We'll cover a couple of the mechanics. Again, just watch the original trailer. It makes it a lot easier as well. So we can sit here and talk about this and have a proper discussion. Uh, it does show this kid on his... Switch looking through his Pokemon. I don't know if that's just in his box and it shows it like it wouldn't go I really hope I really really hope just give us something with IVs and EVs Please like so we can I know they're giving us Pokemon go. Let's go Eevee, but I don't mean that kind of Eevee man <laughs> Effort values, please <laughs> it, it, It's just I just it's something that Pokemon needs to have they started acknowledging it in Sun and Moon Ultra Sun and Moon they've got more acknowledging it recognizing that it's a thing that people want to get into and they really want it for competitive play. So hopefully, it has a lot of stuff in this game. Like, it has a lot of stuff to do in this game. That's what I'm kind of banking on. Uh, it does show you can take your Pokemon on a walk, which I actually do kind of dig. Obviously, everything you see in these trailers is not going to be as good in gameplay or whatever else. This girl puts Pikachu into a Pokeball. I'm sure it'll fuck up a bunch of times when you actually do it. And he won't go in the goddamn ball or something like that. <laughs> oh, disconnection or some shit like that. But it does look pretty cool. Uh, it shows her going to hang out with a friend. She shakes it, and he says, Pika Pika inside the ball. Kind of cool, kind of, eh. Again, I can't see myself going to work and being like, Yo, dude, 
you get that fucking <laughs> Pikachu around. He's like, I got Eevee, bro. And he like shakes it. I can't see that. But hey, you know what? I'm down. This is one of the coolest parts. So you can bring Pokemon from Pokemon Go over into this game. It does say Go Park. So that makes me think there's some specific area that you can bring your Pokemon to and hang out with them, chill with them, maybe battle, friends or whatever else. I'd be totally down for a Wi-Fi lobby, whatever else. It's kind of weird. Who would have thought when everybody's like, man, I want battling in Pokemon Go. Who would have thought it would come in Pokemon Switch, huh? But hey, <laughs> I'm still in. I, I, I don't think this is going to be their next big thing. I don't. In the next like year or two years, I don't think so. I mean, we're definitely getting a Gen 8. I would almost guarantee that. Pokemon's not going anywhere. I don't think this is where it's going to end. So if you guys are all bummed out and not stoked, I don't think it's ending here. I'll just warn you now. I, I don't. Warn you. Tell you now. <laughs> it does show you riding on some Pokemon, which, I mean, yeah, is cool, but you can tell it's on, like, a racetrack, so it's a very temporary thing. Same thing like riding Rhyhorn and Pokemon X. It was like, oh, shit, before the game came out, everybody was like, what the fuck? And you ride for, like, 12 feet. Yeah, it's cool, but, you know, it's like, hey. Uh, it shows you flying on Charizard. Again, you're on, like, a racetrack. It looks like you're racing that Ponyta or something akin to that going for a time or something along those lines. Again, no full guarantees. It's screenshots. Again, racing. I don't know if it's just male and female Pokemon. This is specifically Nidoking King and Nidoking Queen. I guess it makes sense. They represent Gen 1 pretty well. I don't know. I dig it. Um, I do... I like the idea of it. It's really cool. They're trying to give you the Pokemon running behind you kind of feel. From these screenshots, but it just feels to me like it's some kind, some kind of like mini game. You don't get to just do this all the time. Maybe I'm wrong. Those might be trainers up there. I can't fully tell. Oh, my mouse isn't on there. But the guy sitting up at the top behind Gengar, and then this dude over here with the mohawk, could be trainers. I mean, for sure. They it could just be all around. They just run behind you. If that's a fucking thing, I'm in. 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 If that's a thing, um, there was a tiny, tiny like millisecond of gameplay. Where you saw them running. So you don't know if it's a race. You don't know what. I'm inclined to think race. We'll have to see. You never know. Uh, it does show you can bring legendaries over. Which, for being somebody who stopped playing Pokemon Go for about 9 or 10 months. Didn't catch a single legendary. I went out for Raikou and I went out for uh, Lugia. Didn't catch a single one. Couldn't find any near my, near my, near me, near my area. Couldn't find them at all. So I am a little bit bummed. But at the same time, they've been showing they're bringing them back. Whoop. They've been showing they're bringing them back, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, this is just a random shot of an Abra. Same thing you can see the Pokemon Go. You have the yellow as opposed to just a green. So it's not just based on where you throw it. It's going to be the same thing as Pokemon Go. You have better odds depending on the color, which is mean, not a bad thing. It's Pokemon Go. So if you dig Pokemon Go, this is your fucking game. <laughs> Yo. But we'll have to see. It, it, it could be fantastic. You guys never know. you got to keep an open mind about this stuff. I understand it seems very different not necessarily amazing you never know honestly it could be fantastic uh you get over here you can bring moltres over to pokemon as well so it's just showing you you can indeed bring them over you can have legendaries in the game you might be able to catch them we don't fully know i would imagine that'd be crazy if you give me a pokemon game that's based in like kanto and i can't catch legendary birds i'll be a little bit salty let's just put it that way sincerely i'll be a little bit salty because that just feels like red blue and yellow to me it's catching legendary birds that was always the shit when i was a little kid you know what i mean uh, it just shows Pikachu with a little hand on him. So that tells me there's a Pokemon of me type feature in the game, which is not shocking. They've been keeping that going since X and Y. I like it. I'm okay with it. I don't think I even used it in Sun and Moon. Pokemon Refresh, I, maybe once. Well, I use it in Sun and Moon, but Ultra Sun and Moon, I don't even remember using it once. But it's all right. It's cool that it's there. I don't really need to tell my little buddy he's my friend. I'm probably just going to breed him and try to get a better nature anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so bad, but I mean, it's bad how I play Pokemon. It's terrible nowadays because, you know, competitive. But we got the swaggiest Eevee. <laughs> I didn't even know. I took this screenshot. Dude. I saw this in the trailer and I was like, damn, he looks dope, dude. <laughs> I actually do like it a lot. If you can dress him up and they stay like that, I'm fucking in. Like, if they stay like that in battle and everything, oh, you've already won my heart. But contest or some shit, I'm not feeling contest. Like, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I don't want Pokemon contest. Uh, we got the dopest little Pikachu. Look at his hat, dude. Oh, shit, he's cute. <laughs> he actually is really, really cute, though. I actually dig it quite a bit. His tail blends in kind of weird, but that's all right. Um, they do confirm the Team Rocket is in it. So, that's cool and not cool. I mean, we just saw an Ultra Sun and Moon, but they didn't have a very vital part. I guess is the best way to describe it. 
It wasn't like super duper vital, like, oh man, put one. In. It was just Team Rocket was in it. Sweet. <laughs> I real honestly, I still haven't completed the Rocket episode. Because I watched like 12 people play it and I was like, well, I don't need to do it now. <laughs> be real honest with you guys on that one. Uh, the show's just battling the Team Rocket grunt. It's definitely a different type of feel. It's very Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon feel. With that Kanto vibe, I guess. We haven't seen any cities that look specifically like Kanto. We haven't seen Pewter. Any of those cities. You know what I mean? With Cerulean. Any of that stuff. So we'll have to see what happens um, when the actual game comes out. How it actually compares to old games. Like, does it actually feel like you're like near Mount Moon? In that little area. Does it feel like you're in that cave with Mewtwo and stuff? It does show that. So I don't know, man. Got our boy Dragonite. I strictly scream cat because I love Dragonite. That was the main reason. <laughs> I mean, he looks like Dragonite. I mean, he looks like Pokemon. Actually, he looks like Ultra Sun Dragonite quite a bit. I never realized how much Pokemon Go Dragonite looks like Ultra Sun Dragonite. How many times can I say Dragonite? Uh, we got our boy Mewtwo. He's he's representative of all of Pokemon at this time. Like, genuinely, Mewtwo is Pokemon. Obviously, he has been since the first movie, but you know what I mean. He's got, his, he's got like, three movies of his own. Well, okay, the Genesis movie is the Genesis movie, but Mewtwo's in it, too. You know what I mean. He's such a prevalent character. They got to put him in it. I mean, the, it, and, and it's Kanto. If he wasn't in it, it's the same thing as the birds. Well, what the hell is going to test me at the very end of my game, man? Where am I going to go to fight all these crazy strong Pokemon that I'm not supposed to go to I beat the champion? Boom. Mewtwo. So I do dig it. I'm fine with it. I have no issues. I would do have the logo. I like the logos a lot. They actually look really nice. It's just a nice little fun logo. Nothing too crazy about it. Eevees, again, a nice little fun logo. Nothing too crazy about it. Now, this one I did see right before I was uh, started recording. The box art is beautiful. Let's just say that right now. That is a really, really nice art style. And I actually wouldn't mind a Pokemon game in that art style, personally. Uh, Pikachu's got a bit of a circular head now that I'm looking at it. But Eevee looks phenomenal. <laughs> it looks really good, though. I am pretty hyped. We do see the release date. It's 11-16. We have a release date. That might just be Japan. It might be coming later. It might get confirmed for around the world. We don't fully know. That might say around the world, and it just doesn't say <laughs> that in English, so I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm not a translator. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then the final screenshot is, you'll meet a special Pokemon. Now, I don't know what that means. To me, it wouldn't be Mew, because he's got Mew. I don't think it'd be like Celebi or something. I don't think it would be any of those guys. Uh, I'm trying to think of, what is his name? Zerora? Whatever the blue and yellow Pokemon that just got released. Um... It could be him, or just got announced officially, I guess. It could be him. I don't know who else to be, unless they're making a whole new Pokemon. Which I'm pretty in for. I was kind of hoping, you know, there'd be a couple brand new Pokemon, just in general. But overall, I'm okay with going back to Kanto. We'll see how it plays out. If it plays out awesomely, I'm down. So in my final thoughts of it, I'll sum it up for you. Overall, I'm pretty excited. I have a Nintendo Switch. I didn't buy it for Pokemon, honestly. This is like the first Nintendo product that i didn't buy for pokemon so i'm actually kind of down and i just have it to begin with i gotta buy a second one now for my girlfriend so that's cool i guess but whatever <laughs> we'll 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 cross that bridge in uh, november <laughs> but i'm pretty excited though uh let me know in the comment section below are you excited are you stoked are you pissed as fuck that it's pokemon go based because i can see a lot of people being that way i could even see it just in the live stream i was watching I was watching a live stream for a couple minutes while I was trying to get all my stuff set up, and then I was going to live stream, and I was like, nah, let's just make a video. Because everybody was saying their live stream was dookie and shit. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, then I guess I'm not really feeling it, <laughs> you know, but but yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Are you excited? Are you stoked? Because I want to hear you guys' opinions. I'll be in the comment section as much as I possibly can be to talk about this game with you guys. Hit me up on Facebook, Discord, anything, Twitter, anywhere you want to hit me up. We can talk about Pokemon. It, it's always been coming back to my channel because I, I played it for like 400 uploads, basically, like 300 uploads. I played Pokemon like almost exclusively, so I obviously do love it. I mean, I have my like too many plushies and stuff behind me and all that crap. So I, I do love Pokemon. It's just we'll have to see what it overall does. You know what I mean? We can only tell when the game actually comes out or more things get revealed. Uh, maybe they, they might just throw a fucking left hook at us. And just be like, boom, dude, motherfucker, here's 8th gen. Who knows? There's a little side game as well. I didn't catch the name of it. I just saw it. Uh, you could look into that as well. But like I said, this will be linked down below. Check out the trailer there. 
If you want to watch through at that point or watch through it while I talk about it, do what you want to do. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see my Pokemon-based stuff. If you like Dragon Ball, I do a lot of Dragon Ball stuff as well. And I'll catch you in the next video, alright? Deuces.